welcome to another GCSE Computer Science video on data representation with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. Today's video focuses on representing images. There are two main types of image to consider in computer science. Bitmaps, sometimes referred to as raster, and vectors. Instead of being comprised of pixels, vector graphics are made up of mathematical descriptions of how to create the image and each time it is redrawn to the specifications. This means you can easily resize vector graphics without them losing any quality. However, vectors are not part of the current AQA GCSE spec, so let's go on to focus on bitmaps. Bitmaps are made up of pixels. Pixel is short for the two words picture element. It is a single point in a bitmap image. An image is made up of pixels aligned in rows and columns. Each pixel is assigned a color. The size of an image is found by multiplying the width in pixels by the height in pixels. This example image is 15 pixels wide by 15 pixels tall, meaning it has 225 pixels in total. Information about what color it is would need to be stored for each one of these pixels. The number of bits we use to record what color a pixel is, is known as color depth. You can represent two to the n different colors, where n is the number of bits used for the color depth. With just one bit, we're limited to two possible colors. If we move it up to two bits, we can have four possible colors. With three bits, it's eight, and this carries on. So with eight bits, we can have 256 different possible colors. Most normal JPEG images have their colors recorded with eight bits for the red, green, and blue channels, so 24 bits in total. This gives 16,777,215 unique different colors. So what color depth does an image need? If we look at our example image, it has two shades of green, two shades of red, black, and white. This is six different colors. Two bits would not be enough to represent it clearly. Three bits gives us a couple more than we need, but we must go to three bits so that we've got at least enough spaces for all the colors we want to use in our image. The greater the bit depth, the more bits used to record the color of each pixel, and therefore the greater the file size of the image. You will need to be able to learn how to calculate the file size of an image. This is done using the formula File size equals height in pixels times width in pixels times color depth. The most common mistake people make is multiplying by the number of colors, not the color depth needed to represent that many colors. Our example had 15 pixels by 15 pixels by a color depth of three for 675 bits. You might be asked to give your answer in bytes. Dividing this by eight, we would get 84.375 bytes. Another skill you must develop is converting binary data to a simple bitmap. You should be able to convert binary data into a bitmap given the basic information you need, such as in this case, that zero will represent white and one will represent black. You will also need to be able to do the reverse of that, going from a simple bitmap image into binary data. That brings us to the end of this video on representing images. I've been Mr. Goff for MrGoff.com. I hope you'll join me again soon for another data representation video. This one will be focused on representing sound. Bye for now.